So in this video, we are going to see, we're going to come up with some kind of an algorithm that basically takes in uh, two singly linked lists and um, let's call these two linked lists as L and M and um, we're going to merge them, we're going to merge them such that um, let's call this new merge linked list as L prime that contains all the nodes of L followed by all the nodes of M. Okay, so let's just, let's just write this down. So uh what I have with me are two linked lists. Let's call the first linked list as L. Okay. And um it's a singly linked list. So that's node one, node two, and let's just make node three as an example. This is pointing at none and I'll zoom L as the head pointer to this linked list that points at the first the first node, the first node points at the second node and the second node Point at the third node. So given a linked list, given in this case a linked list L, and let's, uh, let's say we have another linked list M here, so let's just use a different color for M. So I've got my linked list M, and same idea, it's like in a single linked list. Okay, so given these two, given these two linked lists, the question now is um, come up with some kind of an algorithm that will concatenate that will concatenate L and M given only references to the first node of each list, okay, given references only to the first node of each list, into a new list, into a uh, list of use the word new year, but let's into a, into a single list L prime that contains all of the nodes of L followed by all of the nodes of M. So what that means is given these two pictures, you're going to come up with this new list. Uh, Again, shouldn't use the word new year. Um, we are going to assume that both the linked list are mutable, meaning that it's okay to make changes to both the linked list to begin with, rather than creating an entirely a new linked list that happens to be the merge of the two. So the question here is, given this, given these two over here, merge them, merge them in such a way so that the new pointer after the merge would look something, something like this. Okay. And uh, we're going to call this as L prime, L prime, where L prime is this is this linked list that has that has as a first element, the first element of the uh, the original list uh, L, and then wherever L ends, you have a merge happened between L and M, so that the last node of L would point at the first node of M. Okay, so how would you how would you do this? So this was just the intuition, which is just setting up the problem here. And um, now that we have the problem set up, what we can do is uh, we can we can somehow uh, uh, somehow um, come up with some kind of a solution that would uh, that would do this concatenation. So let's use um, let's use yellow here, and um, let's call this function def concatenate concatenate which takes in as an input, takes in as an input two parameters, which are the heads of the respective linked list, L and M. So it takes in L, think of L as the head of my first linked list and takes in M, the head of my next linked list. So given these two, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to define, I'm just going to say, let's just say walk. Let's just create a temporary variable walk. And walk in this case is just going to be wherever L is pointing at, so walk here is wherever L is pointing at. So how do I make how do I make walk point at wherever L is pointing at? So I could say at this point, I can just say at this point that uh, that uh, walk walk equals to L. Okay, so if I've got walk equals to L here, uh, you, in some sense, you must have got the idea what I'm trying to do here is I'm going to figure out, I'm trying to figure out, in some sense, walk through the entire linked list where I, can, where I can hit the last node, the last node of this linked list. And if I can get the last node of this linked list, I'm just going to take the next of that node and assign it, assign it to the first node of my linked list M. Okay, so I don't, I don't like to change where L is pointing. I would like to have L pointing at wherever is the head or the start or the first node of my linked list, but I'm going to use a temporary variable called walk. 
And I like, to, I like the name walk here because it's kind of intuitive in the sense that I'm going to walk through that link plus L to figure out where is that last node of my linked list. Okay, so given this over here, given this over here, I can now say, I can just put a condition here that uh, if this walk is null, meaning if walk is none, what does that mean? It means that let's assume linked list L is actually an empty linked list. If this is an empty linked list, the merge of L and M, okay, it's just going to be the first node of M in that case, whatever the first node of M is. So I'll just say, I'll just say in this case, just return back M. Okay, assuming that if if my linked list L to begin with is an empty linked list. Otherwise, if L is not none, I can now set up, I can now set up this, uh, uh, my, 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 my loop here. And um, again, my loop in this case is going to be really simple. I'm just going to check that uh, as long as walk dot next, okay, as long as walk dot next is not none, is not, is not none, meaning I have this point walk, walk could be somewhere over here. So this could be walk here. Okay, only if walk is pointing at the last note, I'm going to have walk dot next walk dot next is going to be none right as long as this as long as walk is not pointing at the last note it could be anywhere in between here keep on keep on iterating meaning keep on making walk move one position to the right meaning that walk at this point is going to be um, walk equals to walk dot next so make on walk, make on this temporary variable walk move towards the right until the walk dot next is actually none, meaning at this point it'll terminate. At this point the loop will terminate. Okay, if the loop terminates at this point, if the loop terminates at this point, I know that walk is pointing at the last node of my linked list, at which point I can simply say, I can simply say walk, I can simply say walk dot next. Okay, assuming the walk is over here at this time, at this last node here. Walk dot next, meaning this piece here, this 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 yellow piece here, should equal to should equal to m, wherever m is pointing at. Currently, walk dot next is pointing at none. Right now, walk dot next is actually none. But I'm going to say this should equal to this should equal to whatever m is. Okay, so whatever m is. Right. After I've done that, after I've done this piece over here, this assignment here, I can just at this at this time just say if the method were to return back something, in this case returning back m, I'll just say return, return. Okay, and um, so in this case I return back l, which is just the start, the head of this linked list where l and m have been have been merged together.